everybody, this is Girl 20 and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mario Party 7. Last episode, we did Pyramid Park and we won the board, so it's pretty nice. In this episode, we are going on to the next board, which is going to be... Neon Heights. Find stars inside treasure chests. Thrilling. Alrighty, so we're going to do four player. It's going to be a ten turn game, like before. Last episode we repeat, now we are back to using our girl Toadette. My girl. Let's go. And we'll have, we'll have, whoops, oh my god, control stick. Toad accompanying her, accom accompanying her. Um, so let's see. This time we'll use Luigi and Daisy. Because we're tr I'm trying to mix up partner, I'm trying to mix up the characters a little, you know? Because if we have them the same from the other videos, why not change it up a little? Anyways, we're going on to Neon Heights. And yes, you don't hear my air purifier in the background, because I turned it off. Because I'm by myself, so why not? Alright, here's Neon Heights. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Neon Heights. This is the place where dreams are made. And broken. Oh my god, broken? You don't say. Shall I tell you about this board? Yes, Army of Knowledge. I say, welcome to Neon Heights. Here you will find stars inside the treasure chests. Ooh. We're going treasure hunting? There are three chests scattered around the board, but only one of them has a star. Oh no. If you pay Koopa Kid 10 coins, he'll open this chest for you. Hmm, I don't trust that at all. If someone finds the star, it will move to a new chest. Then you must search anew. Do watch out, however, sometimes Bowser will take a star during Bowser time! If that happens, play games on the board and collect coins so you can get it back. Oh, we will get it back. Right, now hit those dice blocks to decide who goes first. I'm second. First up is Toad. Second is Toadette. Third is Luigi. Fourth is his girlfriend Daisy. Now I've got a gift for you. Here are ten coins! Thank you, Toadsworth. That was very helpful. Brilliant! I say utterly brilliant! And now it's time to party! <laughs> Don't move a muscle! This party doesn't start till Bowser says so! Put these Koopa Kid spaces out! Boah! This board needs them! Now you can tell that man I'm so evil I love it! No one cares. Shut up. Alright, alright, well, after that funny dialogue, hi everyone, welcome to Neon Heights. This is the fourth board in the game, so after this, there are only um, two more videos left. Windmillville and Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. So this board, um, it's a, this, this board also introduces a new gimmick to the game. A gimmick that was also not present in Mario Party 6. The only one similar to the one in Mario Party 6 was Snowflake Lake and Pyramid Park. So, um, in this board, there are three treasure chests with wings. And what you do, you have to pay Koopa Kid. I don't know why they chose Koopa Kid. You have to pay Koopa Kid ten coins to open a treasure chest. And Daisy is about to get one right now. Oh my god, if she gets a star. Mr. Bowser told me to keep this thing safe. Can't really read them when the AIs are doing it. So yeah, the chest can contain three items. Oh, she got a bob bomb. Yep, a bob bomb is one of the items. So chests can either contain stars, coins, or bob bombs. But during Bowser time, Z tars can also appear, or stars, however you want to pronounce it. All right, we're going on to our first mini game, which is Think Tank. It's a new one, so let me read the rules. One player drives a big tank while the other three team up in small tanks. Last team standing is the winner. Toadette, control stick move, A fire. Toad Luigi Daisy, control stick move, A fire. The players in small tanks must work together, or the big tank will crush them! So yeah, we haven't played this minigame yet, so I guess we'll play it. Or, yeah. I played this minigame before because, um, yeah, I remember. Go! Ooh, I get a purple tank! So yeah, when you're when you're the solo, when you're on the solo team, you get the purple tank. Ain't that ain't that cool? Also, I don't know if this is true, but I feel like the small tanks correspond to somebody's color. I could be wrong, though. It does make a lot of sense. 
But look at that. We won that easily. See? The big one has lots of lives, and the, the small ones only have three. But the hearts don't really match up to the big one. I thought there were going to be nine of them, but there's ten instead. Alright, well, we won the minigame. Okay, let's continue explaining this. So, yep, Z-Tars can also appear if Bowser makes them appear. So, the board shares a very similar gameplay to Mario Party DS's board, Kamix Library. Because Kamix Library from Mario Party DS plays the same exact role as this board. Because in Kamix Library, there are three... What do I call them? What I call them? Cauldrons? Or whatever? I don't know how it's... Pots? Cauldrons? Whatever they call them. There's three... There's three pots or cauldrons scattered throughout the board, and, uh... One of them contains a star, but I think instead of a bob bomb instead of a bob bomb the cauldron has, like, teeth and tries to get the player. That happens instead. Oh, this is funny. Cut, kid! What was that? My dog can do better! My god, Shy Guy! Why so rude? Oh my god, Shy Guy's dialogue in this board, though. Oh my god. One of the things he says is very offensive, and I don't even know when he says this. Okay. Okay, work with your partner to load three kinds of vegetables into the truck. You must load two of each one. Control stick, move. A, pick, toss, veggie. You can't toss while Shy Guy is holding up the X sign. Also, some veggies have no roots. So this is Bumper Crop. We have not played this yet. So, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, as I was speak, because Shy Guy's right there. Um, Shy Guy's dialogue in this board is really funny, but there's something that he says is that can be very offensive, and a lot of people don't like what he says. I don't know when he says it in this board. I feel like he says it if somebody goes by the orb shop and they're out of money. He says he says this. Perhaps you were born in a barn. That that is actually offensive if you really think about it because it, it's like the player is actually poor and they're living in a barn. That that's just making fun of the player. I feel like it's making fun of the player itself. Like 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 say I were to go buy it and then shy guy says the line. It's like shy guy is saying it to actually me. That's what, that's, that's offensive. So that, that line is offensive. But Shy Guy's other, um, dialogue can be funny. Also, for the shooting game, if you didn't know, Toad and Toadette are the only two characters to stand on stoles due to their height. The other players don't really need stoles. So yeah, I don't know when he's, when Shy Guy says the, perhaps you were born in a barn phrase, but, oh my god, that is just offensive right there. That's just sad and bad. Uh, Toad's gonna play a Bowser minigame. I, I don't think we're... So I guess we, at least we don't have to see it right now. Is that a movie theater right there? Or a concert hall? Whatever that is. It'd be nice if... It looks like a concert hall or a movie theater. That Mario vs. Bowser movie. Mario always wins. He will always win. Yes, he's the greatest hero of all time. Toad is right next to a chest. He might get it, but hopefully, I'm hoping to get the one that's near. Well, Daisy already got it, so uh, I guess we're waiting. Ooh, that slot machine thingy lookalike looks cool. So yeah, speaking of Kamix Library, I that's the next board of Mario Party DS. I have to let's play, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold. Like I said, I'm holding off on that until. Uh, Alright, let's play some GameCube and Wii games. There's only two Mario Karts I still have to let's play. Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I still have to let's play both of them, because I haven't let's played them yet. Daisy said no to the orb shot. Ooh, there's a totem pole right there. I remember um, when I was, I think this was second grade. When I was in second grade, we made like our own totem poles. I don't remember. Mine looked cool. I, I think it had me on there. Oh my god! She got a star! Alright, here's Toadette's taunt. Mushroom. Yep, she says, Mushroom! Mushroom! Yeah, she says mushroom. 
It's cute. Want to know what Jenny's taunt would be? Or Toadette Girl's taunt? Like, they both have the same one. Want to know what mine would be? <laughs> My famous giggle. <laughs> yep, that would be mine. Huh, you know, guys. Since I haven't showed off the mic minigames, you want to know what I was thinking? We already- we played this before. How about this? Starting in the next video of Mario Party 7 and Bowser's Enchanted Inferno, I am going to turn on the mic minigames, but we're going to play them using the controller. Because I want to show off some mic minigames. Because I think it would be pretty cool. We gotta- sh and we get- and I'm hoping that somebody can land on a- bonus mic minigame. Also, another fact about this game, there is no chance time. No chance time spaces whatsoever. I don't know why they got rid of it in this game, but I don't think Mario Party 8 has it either. Oh my god. This is why I prefer th to use the one Toad has. It goes by quicker. Finish. And we lost bumper crop, if you didn't notice. We did. Tied. Oh, and we tied, so nobody wins. Dang, that stinks. So yeah, the Shy Guy's dialogue on some of the stuff, like when you're doing the shooting and the in the baseball, it's kind of funny. Hopefully we can see that, because Shy Guys mostly run this board, just like they do in Grand Canal. Sorry about that little noise. I'm sitting at my desk while recording this. And we get Donkey Kong. All right, how many Donkey Kong spaces are we going to get? Hopefully it's not a thousand. Oh my god, there's a chest right above DK. Hit it with the dice block. <laughs> oh, it's single player. Okay, so I'm... Okay. Splendid. You'll play it solo. Oh, I don't want to play it solo. Okay, 20 coins. How's it smashing? What, what? You're not in Super Smash Bros. Okay, let's see. Okay, now we're playing Jump Man. Wow. <laughs> Run up the ramp and reach the top before DK does. But watch out for the barrels. Say, this looks familiar. You don't say. It does look familiar indeed. Control stick move, A button jump. If a barrel hits you, you'll be stunned and lose time. Time your jumps carefully. So, wow, Toad's Worth actually said, Say, this looks familiar. Yep, it's a reference to um, the classic... Arcade game Donkey Kong. Mario's debut. His name was Jumpman back then. So it's just it's just like the original Donkey Kong. You just have to um, avoid the barrels. Speaking of which, um, on Sunday's New Family Guy episode, um, they did a they did a they had a reference to the classic arcade game Donkey Kong. Yeah, in Family Guy's new episode on Sunday, they had a Donkey Kong reference. Stewie was playing Pauline. Oh my god, get on the platform! Finish. Oh my god! You have got to be kidding me! He landed on the platform a split second after I did! Oh my god! The game wasn't even letting me on the platform at all! What in the world? My god! That is just upsetting. Wow. Okay, how was I supposed to jump on the barrels in order to get onto the platform? That is just upsetting. The game didn't even let me go on the platform, so I guess you have to jump on the barrels in order to get to the platform. That reminds me of the minigame Vine with me when I had trouble getting on the platform at the end of the minigame. Wow. And I lost another single player Donkey Kong minigame. Very sad. Well, if I ever play the other one, hopefully I win it. Who knows? I'm hoping. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, Stewie was Pauline. And Peter was Donkey Kong. And, uh, Chris was like... I don't know. I think he was... I don't know. John Man or something. But yeah, nice little reference right there. Also, I have another announcement to share. Oh, wait. All oh, the UFOs are switching the places of the treasure chests. Great heavens! Someone has... <laughs> wow, alright, anyways, um... I have a big... I have exciting news to share. If y'all didn't know, the Super Mario Bros. movie 
is now releasing on April 5th instead of April 7th. Two days. It's releasing two days early. I'm so happy they changed that. I'm very happy they changed that. We get to see it two days early. It's going to air on Wednesday instead of Friday. I cannot wait to see it, so... I will be off social media from April 5th to April 12th. Of course, I'll still be on Discord and YouTube. But for YouTube, I'm going to have to close my eyes when I'm on the U when I'm on the homepage so I don't see any Mario movie spoilers. Because I don't want to get spoiled. So yeah, I'll still be on Discord, though. But I'll still- I'll still probably upload on- uh, I'll be uploading on YouTube as well, but I just have to close my eyes when I'm on the homepage the whole time, and then switch to the other one quickly. Because I do not want to get spoiled. It's to avoid spoilers, and I know a lot of people are going to be doing that. But on April 9th, since Easter's on April 9th, I'm only going to go on Twitter for a little just to, to make a happy Easter post. But I- I'm going to do that while on my, um, my profile page on Twitter. I'm going to, like- because you're still able to do it, like, I'll just make that post and then just get off Twitter again and see the comments and likes later. Because I do not want to be spoiled. And we're playing Snow Day or Snow Ride again. This minigame's kind of easy, you just have to watch out or try not to hit the sides too much, you know? Oh my god! But I just know this movie is going to be a fantastic movie. I am just really looking forward to it. The final trailer is coming out soon. Today is now March 1st. It's the first day of March. We're just nine days away from the trailer. Or eight days away from the trailer. Can you believe it? We're getting close. We're gonna... Hopefully my girl Toadette's there. I'm hoping to see her... I have a feeling that Rosalina might appear, and here's why I think that. Because, um, for the McDonald's tours, or, tour, I mean, wow, that's a new tour I want to see in Mario Kart Tour, McDonald's tour. Ooh, what's that gonna be about? <laughs> hey kid, I need a new sidekick in my film, wanna be a movie star? Yes, I love sidekicks. Whoa, what's this one? Sidekick? Forget it! <laughs> yes, that, oh my god, that's funny dialogue. Blast the Koopa Kid targets, but not the Toadsworth targets, or I don't get nothing! Got it, kid! Shy guy, stop being rude. Lights, camera, action! So yeah, this is a little mini game. Um, you have to try to avoid the Toadsworth target, or the game ends automatically, and Koopa is recording it. That's a wrap! Hmm, not bad, I suppose, but you need work, kid. Here, take this for your trouble. So yeah, if you get a lot of them, he'll like award you even more and then say different dialogue. But when you lose, he'll you'll be like, my dog can do better than you. Go back, go back to acting school. Sheesh, no need to be so rude. Let's see what we have. Um, I'll take sluggish shroom. I got the slow shroom. Oh, it's called slow shroom in this game. Come see us again. Yeah, I don't know when he says that perhaps you were born in a barn phrase. The offensive phrase. So as I was saying, back in January, near the end of January this year, um, they were they released um Super Mario Movie McDonald's toys. One of them was a Luma. So and you know how Rosalina's associated with Lumas. Maybe Rosal. I feel like she might appear. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're getting close. We just have we have. Don't worry, guys. We have one more full month. We can get through it together. But stay strong, just keep on enjoying my um, Let's Play videos and Mario Kart Tour videos, and it'll get here soon, before you know it. So tomorrow I'll be filming part 4 of the Doctor 2023 tour. It's the final tour, I'll be pulling on the all clear pipe. Like I said, I'm not really going to care what's in there, because I already got all the characters I really wanted for now, so I, that means I will be saving up a lot of rubies. I probably won't buy anything at all next tour, because I'm just going to save my rubies the, full, the whole time. My dog can do better than you. Wow, Shy Guy, you have a dog? You never told me. What is it, a chain chomp? <laughs> wow. Guys, Shy Guy has a dog. We ne Oh my god. This I want to meet him. Lol. La Bamba. Okay, we're playing La Bamba again. The Bob-Bobs. So 
yep, um, so yeah, I, I probably will start be saving rubies a lot. Because I got Sharon Baby Peach this tour. Go! I'm glad I have her. So yeah, once I have a lot of rubies, I'll start on the- I'll probably get started on the Mario and Toad collection. My heater just came on, so if you hear something in the background, that's what it is. Because I have a vent in my room. Like, in the corner of the room. All the rooms have vents. That's where the- that's where the air comes in, like it's the heater. A lot of houses have heaters. Oh my god, I'm the old- so you're just gonna leave me hanging here, okay. Okay, well at least we won. Well that's something. Shy Guy's telling us secrets, he has a dog. Yeah, I don't know what the creators were thinking when they made Shy Guy say that perhaps you were born in a barn race. I- still, I don't know when he says it. And it's Bowser time! <laughs> And Daisy is about to get. May maybe Shy Guy says it when. Um, maybe Shy Guy says it when you're broke. Maybe he'll say it when Daisy goes past. So let's see. Oh no, Bowser's putting the Z-Tar in there. Thankfully, thank God I don't have stars, so I, I, if I were to get it, I won't be upset. Because nothing will happen. Hopefully he doesn't take coins. Good luck finding my special chest pinheads. You're a pinhead. Bowser, Bowser's a pinhead. Also, um, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna switch CPU minigames on just in case it won't show up for Daisy. I don't know why I'm doing that, but, uh, like I said, I don't know. I, got, I just wanna see something real quick. So yeah, Daisy's about to go past it, so maybe Shy Guy will say the th maybe Shy Guy will say the phrase. So, I'm gonna use... Oh my god, there's a chest over there. Oh my, oh my god, please do not be the Z-Tar. Well, if it... it like I said, guys, if it's the Z-Tar, I'm not gonna care, because I don't have a star. If I did have a star, I would care. I'd get- I'd rage. Oh! Oh yeah, in, in this game it's called Dark Stars. I'll just refer to them as Dark Stars. Well, nothing happened, so I'm not upset. Well, hopefully we can find a star soon. Oh, there's a chest up there. Let's go up here. So, this has to be my favorite area of the board, just going up here. It looks just nice. It looks nice. Looks very nice, if I do say so myself. Oh, oh yeah, Luigi and Mario has the fi they have the fireballs. So you want to watch out for them. Oh my God, he's gonna open another chest. Oh my God. Oh! You got a star. Who's Van Mushroom? Mushroom. 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 Oh, we just stole my star! You lousy Koopa Kid, don't let me take him again! <laughs> you gotta love Toadette Girl's dialogue. The way she puts expression in the characters, it's just great. <laughs> oh, that, lo that detail looks nice! It reminds me of a Super Mario Bros. level. Oh, now Luigi's doing it. Oh yeah, since we have CPUs on, we have to watch him play it. He still has- it's funny how he still has the fireballs surrounding him. Oh, he hit Toad's work. Cut, cut, cut! Cut, kid, kid! What was that? My dog can do better! Sorry, this board is just so fun for the dialogue, I'm telling you. <laughs> My dear. Call a day's your dear. Oh, Luigi's gonna get mad. Oh, and he didn't- he didn't say the phrase. He didn't- he, did, he didn't say perhaps you were born in a barn at all. Strange. When does he say it then? Huh. He didn't say it to Daisy at all. Huh. When does he say it? Wait, I think I know- maybe- wait, I think I might know. Wait, this is a new minigame. One player flies a hot air balloon and tries to dodge incoming them, yeah. The other three try to bring him down. Luigi, control stick move, A button, ascend. The three of us, control stick, move target, A, fire. Move the hot air balloon up and down as much as possible to make yourself harder to hit. So yeah, um, I think, yeah, it's strange how he didn't say the phrase. I think I might know when he actually does say it. I think I might know when Shy Guy really does say it. Maybe he say, maybe he says it when, um, there's two possible, there's two possibilities. 
And we're playing this minigame, by the way, taking Luigi down by popping his balloons. Oh, I like that balloon, purple and pink. They're Jenny's colors. So yeah, there's two possibilities. The one possibility is either he says it when someone tries to buy an item. Maybe he says it when someone tries to buy an item, but then automatically cancels out. But then that wouldn't make any sense. Or the other possibility is that he doesn't say it in this board at all. Maybe he says it in a different board. Who knows? I don't know. When does he actually say it, then? I'm gonna have to look it up or something. I gotta find out. And maybe in the next episode I'll tell you when he actually does say it, if I find out. Anyways, it's the last couple turns. And Toad... <laughs> Good going, Toad. You squash Koopa Kid. Now squash Bowser, the pinhead. Oh, no! Ten more! Oh, my God! You are kidding me. At least they don't show a cutscene of that. So far, me and Toad have not gotten a star yet, and we're hoping to get one soon. Okay, he just replaced that with his orb. He found three coins in the orb. Oh, it's like a path. What, you can't even fork over ten coins? Go the other way around. Oh my god, if Toad gets a star, I am going to be upset, because that means I am once again the only one without a star. Just like what happened with Towering Treetop, Egod's Garage, I think. Oh, it's a bob -omb. Oh man. Toad got a bob -omb. So yeah, once we Let's Play Kamix Library, you'll be seeing something similar to this. I like how- it, I think- I feel like this board takes place in the USA or something. It, that's what it looks like. By the way, is this in outer space or is it somewhere else? Maybe it's not outer space, it's probably just dark outside. It does look like it's in outer space though. Because you wouldn't find a million stars like that. Well, if you had a telescope, you could. So yeah, the baseball field's over there. It reminds me of Los Angeles laps, in a way. Where you go one of the portions you one of the one of the versions you go over the baseball field. Imagine if an actual game was happening. That'd be hilarious and nice. A nice little detail they could add. Um, hold on, guys. I'm trying to find out which way to go. Like, the I'm trying to find out where the closest chest is. Okay, it's right there. Um, maybe if I, like... Huh. Sorry, guys. Sorry if I'm taking a little while, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. Maybe go up here. And then, yeah, the chest is right there. So maybe I'll go this way. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Oh, it's the UFO. Hey, I know those guys. They were from that, they're from the mini game ID UFO from Mario Party 5. Ooh, and look at that Mario Statue of Liberty. That looks really nice. Maybe this takes place in New York. That's where the Statue of Liberty is located, Brooklyn, New York. I don't think so. So yeah, wow, there's a Mario Statue of Liberty. That looks pretty nice. Nice detail. Oh, Luigi! Dang. Oh, please do not be like... Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I thought it said multiplayer at first. I messed up. I don't think we have to watch this minigame. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. He lost. And he lost his star. Oh, no. If that were me, I'd be raging. <laughs> it's funny how the chests have wings, though. Okay, how does a hole take him there all the way there? I don't even know. Super Shroom. He got, she, or she got three friends. Alright, two versus two. Let's see. Cardinal Roll. Okay. Yeah, we, I, yeah, we played this before. We should, I should know what happens here. So yeah, we're just, um, 
Hopefully the AI doesn't screw me up. Oh my god, Daisy! Daisy, get out of my way! See, I hate mini games where the AI just tries to screw you over. It's it's kind of annoying. If you ask me, it does get annoying at times. Okay, Koopa. Okay, why am I doing all the work and Daisy's not doing anything? Come on, Daisy, you're supposed to be helping me here. Why am why are you making me all do all the work? Huh. That's weird. It was snowing for me a little earlier, then it stopped. See, the snow never lasts that long. We never had, and uh, it's March, so that means this is, it's gonna be spring soon. So yeah, I like also like how the board has like different areas and and everything. It just looks really nice. Um, the chest is right there. It's right in front of me. You never know what could be inside there. Just do not give me anything bad. Let's just use this low shroom orb or the sluggish shroom orb or whatever. Sluggish? Sounds like a baseball term if you ask me. Let's do a four so I can get a blue space. You have to hit, you have to time it just right, but in Mario Party Superstars there's a custom dice block and it makes it easy, way easier. You get to physically choose the number you want. Oh, it was coins. Hey, but at least I got my kind of my. So, okay, at least I got my ten. I partially got my ten coins back. At least I got it back. Still, if you think about it. Pretty nice. Ooh, get the. Two, seven, seven. Hold it, Daisy. Mr. Bowser? What, why does Mr. Bowser go that way? Like, what does he do? Ooh, she's gonna play baseball. Can we please get a new baseball game? Woof, are you kidding me? Oh, now you're acting like a dog. Are you part dog, part shy guy? I don't even know what creature shy guys are. They're just a guy hidden in masks. Like they're incognito or something. Oh my god. Oh my god! She got another star! Oh my god! You know what to say, Toadette. Mushroom! Mushroom! So, yep. New treasure chest now. Now Daisy has two stars. Oh my god. And the rest of us have zero. That is sad. So yeah, overall, me and Toad ha are the only ones who haven't gotten any. So what's this movie about? I wonder. It's a Wild West film, by the looks of it. And she got only three coins. Wow. She only got three coins from that. Okay, one versus three. Luigi, we're going against Luigi again. Coin out Bop. Okay. Oh, this one. Like I said, it, it's better if I, it's better if I'm the one doing the on the Ouija side because it goes fast. You know how the AIs can screw up sometimes, especially if they're on me. But if they're on brutal, they do better. So, but they're, why would I want to play with them on brutal for a video? They'll win. I probably won't win any mini game at all. Come on, Toad. It's the Y button. Come on, Luigi already got it done. Okay, B. Oh, Luigi also got it. Come on, Toad, it's B. B. Oh, uh, come on, Toad! It's B. Time's almost up. Finish! Wow. Wow, we both tied with coins. All of us tied with coins. We all get six coins. What do you know? Interesting. Wow, we're all, a lot of us are doing the Shy Guy movie thing. I like how the orb hut is actually, it looks like an RV van or camper. I really like that detail. And, I, and the GameCube is also um, orange. It's 
pretty interesting. I'm gonna throw- you know what? I'm gonna throw my Thwomp board. Why not? Oh yeah! It looks like the Thwomps have their current designs in this game. So yeah, after Mario Party 6, Mario Party 7, I don't know if this is true, but Mario Party 7 has to be the first Mario Party game where the Thwomps use their current designs. Because the Thwomps now have their current designs in this game. Ooh, a Lakitu art. I would use it, but uh, I don't, at the same time, I don't know, especially when we only have a couple turns left, and I don't even know how many coins I'd take to get away from me in total, so. I don't, and if you didn't, and remember, you don't know if it's going to be that. Ooh, a dual mini game. Time for a dual mini game. All right. Um, I'm picking Daisy. She has the most, she has two stars. I want, hopefully I can steal her stars in some way. Hopefully, I'm hoping. Wheel of Whimsy, let's spin it. Okay, oh, we're playing Camp Yukiki. This is a new one. <laughs> Race against your foe as you make your way through the obstacle course. Control stick, move, A button jump. Move quickly, but don't get out of control. If you fail, you'll lose valuable time. So yeah, it's, it's basically an obstacle course. This is a nice mini game, I'd say. And also, this is the ver this is the first time you're seeing a dual mini game being played. So yeah, we just have to avoid the obstacles. Pretty simple. Go. So yeah, th so the first section is like a little maze. You want to try to find. Each oh, you can't go through there. Aw. Oh come on, come on. Oh my God, she's already at the second section. Okay, now we just have to jump over these. Oh, come on! I fell off! I was so close. Well, we both, at least we both fell off at the same time. Come on. Oh, come on! Why am I not doing so well? Come on, I gotta make it. Oh my god, now we're both on the same exact part. Oh no. Okay, here's, a, here's the zip line. Can we actually do this at summer camps, though? I've never been to a summer camp in my life. So now we just have- oh god, we're both on the same part. We gotta jump over these logs. And now this section. Oh great, more jumping. Oh come on, can we make it? There we go. Yay, we finished. Well that was good. That was really good. If it's loud, I'm sorry. Oh, I think we trade coins here. I, th I believe that's what I think we do. Yeah. Look at that, baby! 94 coins! Thank you so much, Daisy. That was nice of her. Daisy, Koopa's videotaping you. I like how he still follows her. Well, except when you... Oh, she's using her flower. We made Peach use that orb blast board. Oh, it's Spear Guy. Oh, no. She landed on Bowser. I'm just turning this down. Oh, great. You're getting us all into this. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, this one again? Come on. If I lose and the three of them survive, I am going to lose it. I'm going to lose it if it happens. And my heater turned off. It only stays on for about 20-something um, minutes, I'd say. Seriously. If... If I lose and all three of them survive. And look, the Thwomps have their current designs in this game. You're kidding me! Come on! Ugh, I told you this was gonna happen. I told you. If all three of them survive, I am gonna rage even harder. I'll put the warning.
Oh my god. Oh. Oh, thank god I'm not the only one. Thank god. How- They're on weak. How are they doing so well? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So I lose half of my coins. Toad, how are you doing so good? You're on weak. How are you doing so good? Well, you're acting like you're on hard or brutal or something. Well, I still lose half of my coins. Sad. Wow. Really sad. No, we don't want to see you again. You're stupid. All right, another two versus two. Oh God, this mini game. Oh, I hate battery ram. <laughs> Help your partner carry the battery through the blocks. This one has patience. Yeah, control stick move. If you get stuck, you may need to back up and try a different path. I hate this mini game. This mini game has to be my least favorite one in the whole game. This mini game is going to be such a struggle, especially since the CPUs are on weak. I hate this mini game. Because you and your partner have to try to get through these tight spaces, and the AI is like forcing you to go a different direction. So I don't know how we're gonna do here, but I have a feeling this isn't gonna go as well. Oh my god! Daisy! Let's go this way! Oh my god! Seriously! Daisy! Come on! I do not like this mini game whatsoever. Why are we using a long thing to carry a battery? Like, why? What's the point? Daisy, come on! If we don't do this, they're gonna beat us! Come on, Daisy! This mini game is terrible. I feel like this mini game would only be better if none of us, none of them were CPUs, and the action and the people playing knew what they were doing. Because this mini game with CPUs is terrible. Oh my God, Daisy, come on! Oh, this is just. Oh, I hate this mini game. Oh, it's terrible. Oh my God, we're both we're both on the same part. Oh my God, how are they how are they on the same part as us? They're on weak. Oh my God, Daisy, come on! Oh my god, Daisy! God. Back up so we can... Oh my god. Are we, are we gonna win? Because I have no... How did we still win that? Oh my god. My hands are tiring after that. Well, we got one more turn, so thank god. Uh, I hate that minigame. I do not want to play it again. But if we have to play it again in, a, in another video... Oh well. We're gonna have to deal with it. Final turn. I hate battery rams so much. I am not kidding. It's such a struggle. I cannot stand that mini game whatsoever. I don't even, I don't even know what they were thinking when they made that mini game. I don't even know what they were thinking. And we're playing another Bowser mini game. Hopefully it's not all of us again. It still is. Uh, and I'm probably going to lose again. Great. All of our coins. Oh, shoot. This isn't good. Mag magic, mag magical journey. Oh my god. <laughs> Hop across the rocks to reach the goal, but watch for the of the Koopa kids. Yeah, watching for their attacks. Control stick move, A button jump. The rocks will eventually sink into the lava, so keep going. Uh, probably gonna lose. Like I always do. In Bowser mini games. If Bowser takes away all my coins, I am just. It's gonna be sad because what if they what if I do not win at all and what if what if they beat me I don't want them to beat me I'm just gonna try to stay focused here I can do this I believe in myself I can do it. oh my god it's 
At least none of the attacks are going for me. How is nobody out yet? How are the- how are we all still in still? I feel- I hate to say this, but I feel like the game's just waiting for me to die first before the other three can get hit. That's just what I feel like. Come on. YOU'RE KIDDING ME! I STILL DIED FIRST! I told you the game was waiting for me to die first until- I told you the game was waiting for me to die first before the other three could die. I told you! That means I lose all my coins. I am spamming that mushroom. I'll put another warning in there. Cause that's another loud rage of mine. Headphone users, be ready. I do not want- I do not want your ears hurt. So turn down your volume, please. Sometimes, like I mentioned lots of times before, I just- I have to let my rage out. When I'm trying to- when I'm focusing hard on something and I really, really want to achieve something in the game, and it just doesn't happen. It makes me mad and upset. Yeah, we'll play the baseball game, why not? The more you hit, the bigger your signing bonus. Alright, deep breath. Bend the knees, let her rip. Toadette doesn't have knees. Play ball! Did we, wait, did we get that? Oh, we missed. Oh, we got that one. We missed again. Come on. Oh my god, stop missing. That's the ball game. Yeah, you need more practice. Here's some hey, that's rude. My god, shy guy. By the way, if you kept hearing, like, a sound effect every time I would rage or yell, if you kept hearing, like, a little sound effect every time I would yell or something, that- because there's a- there's this, like, silver bowl in my room, that's what's causing it. So yeah, if you hear, like- if you hear, like, a little effect after I, like, speak loud or rage, that's what it is. Sorry about that. I'll make sure it's not heard in the next one if I have to rage. I'm just really upset I lost all my coins. I was up in the 90s! In the 90s! My god! And we're swapping positions. Why put me on the Koopa Kid space? Why? All right, last minute game. Herbitical Maniac. We have not played this. Fire at the piranha plants when they emerge from the pipe. The first team to three points. Two three points? That sounds like an error. I think they forgot the word score or something. Whatever you do, don't hit the bombs. The resulting explosions cause piranha plant infestation. All right, yeah, we have not played this mini game yet, so. All right, here we go. Last mini game. Go! That rage was the same exact pitch from Clockwork Castle when Bowser kept stealing my stars. It was so annoying. Why am I always predicting things correctly in this game? Why? Obviously, they were all still in. They wanted me to die first, and it actually happened. That's what made me upset. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be putting another warning in the video, just like with Clockwork Castle, to let headphone users know to turn down their volume. Finish. A lot of YouTubers rage. I like to rage too. I do. I not only do it to express my emotion, but raging can also be funny, and it's to express some um, funniness and comedy. So yeah, that's why I do it. Another reason. All right. Final results. I have no idea if we won, but let's find out here. Only Daisy got stars. Sad. Yeah, Princess Peach's castle really looks different. Maybe it's a party castle. 
Wow, we both have 15. Daisy has no coins, and yeah. Wow. Yes, minigame star's there, thank god. The mini it's the minigame star won't will not always be there when you play. That is automatically me. Yay, I get a star. If I wow, if I went through donut stars, it's gonna be a Mario Party 4 reference. It, it happened a lot. Hmm, I'm not sure who this is. Wow, all of us but Toad. Toad, I am so sorry. I feel bad for Toad. If I were in Toad's shoes, I'd be raging more and I'd get even more upset. That's what happened to me on EGOT's Garage, for example. Ooh, this was me. Wow. I got all three bonus stars. Did I, did I beat Daisy? I feel like I did, guys. Because I have more coins than she does. And now I'm at three, three stars. Oh my god, did I seriously? <gasps> Let's go! Uh, wow, I won by bonus stars again. Oh my god. Just like Mario Party 4 all over again. Well, look at that. We won. Now we won more boards than what we won in Mario Party 6. Because in Mario Party 6, we only won two boards. So now this is our third win. So far, Pagoda Peak is the only board we haven't won. So look at these results. We have two more boards to go. I don't know how we're gonna do. Hopefully we do our best. And I'll turn on the mic mini games for the next board. Wooden Mill Bell. All right, good game. Even though we sucked at the Bowser mini game. 238 points. All right. All right, everyone. This is Toadette Girl 20. Thank y'all so much for watching. Next episode we will go on to the next board. This is Toadette Girl 20. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a good day and see you guys later.